This is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV. It's summer again, and it's time for Richard Haynes' Subdividing the Space, our third exhibition from the Estate of the Artist. Richard Haynes was famous in his time and place for many reasons, but from the late 1940s through to the late 1950s, he was perhaps best known for what one of the artists of the period called his reticulated style. It's not exactly a word in common usage anymore. Anyway, this dense patchwork of geometric shapes proved exceedingly popular with artists and collectors in Southern California in the 50s. But where did the style come from? And why did it find such a cozy home in the culture of mid-century Los Angeles? Well, partly it was a local response to the early cubist experiments of Georges Braque. But Haynes was clever. His particular vision of cubism also resonated with other natural forms in Southern California the parched earth of the nearby desert, the fault lines responsible for California's dreaded earthquakes, and maybe, just maybe, the new subdivided neighborhood, a major form in Santa Monica where Haynes lived and worked. For all this, Haynes came to the style honestly. As he moved from plain, spoken, figurative mural painting in the 1930s to more modern art, he began with his own vision of precisionism, he found ways to organize the composition with bright colors and engaging geometry. Here he paints his studio stuffed with canvases. When he got to California in 1941, he took a class in camouflage design, which seems to have had an effect. Gradually, the figurative elements in his paintings grew more and more abstract as they fractured into ever smaller pieces. For his new modernist murals, this was an ingenious compositional strategy that allowed him to stretch out along a wall almost indefinitely. Meanwhile, he ventured further and further into abstraction, organizing soft color with painterly strokes into beautiful meditations that crackle with mid-century panache. Is this a fishing shack? A city? A portrait of the artist's barn studio? Who knows? As the 50s drew to a close, Haynes' style shifted a bit, but retained its compositional complexity. He continued to abstract the subject, but he grew increasingly reticent to abandon the concrete reality of his life by the sea in Southern California. In the mid-60s, Haynes went back to a straightforward figurative style, but he continued to place his characters amidst grids and planes. Haynes' reticulated style, like cubism without the confusion, was perfect for its time and place, and with the passing of time has come to look rather classic again. Subdividing the space so that everything fit together like a German-made engine, Haynes created a style that influenced a generation. Richard Haynes' Subdividing the Space is up through August 28th. Come see it. <laughs>